so let's get the demo first so this is a uh, one session where actually i just create a azure service bus using the rabbit mq in my local emulator right so how we can do that that we can do very easily so let's show me first like see we have an interface of local right if i show you over here see this is a local we have just created and here if i click that queues so there is a many queues we have just created using the rabbit mq and it is running in our actually that uh, that uh, we have running using the docker container so those are things we'll show you but yeah first you can see there is a queue and also there is a topic and subscription over there so everything is there locally and you can use and you can just create you know your, you can push that your message by using a .NET core or azure function using that connection string so that also i will show you uh, that connection string and that is actually defined connection string which we can use for once you set up your locally so you can use it your uh, application right so this is done and also if you show you on the docker container see these two things will be run using the docker container image first is like you know that emulator and second one your azure uh, rabbit mq right so which i shown you and that's all and also if you see here that showing that uh, emulator one and if you see that here that rabbit mq things is running so also you can see the running over here right so what you need to do for that let me stop then and i'll show you from the scratch so before starting this let me close this guy also so before starting i'm a special recommend if you first time visit in my channel go to my channel and check out other also local how can set up emulator and locally for that you know uh, as, uh, for the azure storage emulator or or you know queue and you know table storage so everything is over there many many things so that also you can start to learning so let's get a start to implementation so what you need to do i'll share this in our github link actually so this is that one of github link which have some open resource source right and also if you see it is a mit license so you can take this repository and what you need to do and also yeah some few uh, prerequisition is required in your machine first you have to git install that git desktop so that you can clone your or this repository in your locally and then you required one desktop actually um, docker desktop in your local machine so these two things actually required so just install first i'm not going to show you how you can install but yeah there's a very simple step so what you need to do simply copy this guy right so this is a github link right github repository link so you can just copy this guy and open a command prompt so let me open any command prompt and this is my command prompt go to any locations for so go back to my locations for example uh, here and uh, let me create indeed drive and whatever your folder you want you can just use that one for example mk dir right and uh, create a folder for example uh, local emulator right so created that cd local and local emulator go to the directory and then what you need to do create a, a write a command git clone and paste it your git clone uh, means repository right so this is the repository and hit enter so it will just download it in your locally right so if you go back to your uh, this guy so you will see dab of c my right so let me check cd dab of c my and dir so you will see what are the inside this right so these are in a docker file and all everything is over there right so go to that folder right and then what you need to do you have to uh, sh uh, press some command actually you have to uh, fire some command so what are this command so i'll tell you so first uh, you have to build right so let me clear all that let me clear and uh, let me clear a cls i guess yeah so let me clear first and then what you need to do simply you have to pass docker so that's why i told you first you have to install the docker so docker and compose right 
compose and build so once you try to this docker compose build it will try to build so see it's trying to build first so that we can make sure everything is building properly from that repository build is succeed now everything is working fine over here there's a no error and uh, what you need to do simply you have to press one more command and uh, also see there's a images has been created based on this latest local and all right and uh, now one more command you have to fire what is that command docker compose up right and if it is using this command so it will show over here as well like what are it is running say see this is a running is creating and whatever you know uh, happening over here you are able to see as well like see it is running for the derivative q is running and if it is running for simulator also is running so these are running right so once you're running what you have to do you have to go through the docker i'll show you go to the docker and go to that container and see this is container actually they created once you click over here these two things actually again which i show is the demo right so there's all things actually have deletes so they are created newly again so what you need to do if you see this is a uh, emulator right and this is a one is the emulator and one is that you know our uh, uh, rabbit mq right so click that one this is the rabbit mq one so if you click this guy so see uh actually it is logging by default that's why but first time once you log out suppose let me log out so see once you log out this will be appear first time so let me close again once you click so see this will be appear if you do first time so what would be the password actually the password would be your guest and also it is guest nice small right once you click now you are able to log in and you are able to see there's a connections these are my connections right and this is a channels this is exchange and this is a queue as of now see there's a no queue i will tell you how we can create as a queue but yeah i'll show you first like as as, as the admin and by default it's creating that you know the virtual host so this is a virtual host this is a by default create a virtual host also is a many many feature over there like LEDB and all you can just enable or all that is fine also there's a no issue and also there's a many policy and all you can just add all the policy and many many things actually you can do that so that is fine so now how we can create a queue right that is a question and where i will get that connection and all right so if you open again that repository here you will get that connection string as well and uh, definitely they can mention their repository right see this is that connection string actually so you can use this is a connection string to push the message receive the message everything right as like our you know the azure portal provide that endpoint same things right so same thing you can use it and this is for all the machine not actually specific that particular window and, and all this will work for all the machine and also if you want to see that uh, connection string so i can show you in this here like go to that src go to that example no proxy here somewhere i saw if you go here see uh, go to that in you know, a repository and uh, go to src and here that example no proxy uh, click that you know bus client and here that connection is thing right so in this file also you are able to see that connection thing which you can just pick up right this connection thing and how you can just create your uh, um what is that like your uh, queue right so go back to here like say how we can create so here also there is a mechanism where you can just create a queue and all but yeah i especially recommend don't do that because i try many many times i have to create a queue itself from user interface it is not working and it is created fine but when i uh, trying to access from that my uh, function or my you know outside or application so i'm not getting that so that's why i'm especially recommend don't create any queue from here if you want to create so i'll tell you how we can do that so simply what you need to do uh, you have to just create you know uh, go to that visual studio 
and here what you will do uh, not this one here just create a new project right and here just create a function over here and in this function go to that next use that azure function if you can search over here definitely you will get that azure function so go to that azure function click that and just keep it as a whatever name i am not changing anything go to the next now you have to just change to in this service bus queue trigger right choose that one right choose this guy and use whatever that uh, do you have a version over there but yeah, i especially recommend go to your upper version like at least latest version and then what you need to do simply keep it whatever things over here just keep it now create a next this is the function let me complete to restore first so this is azure function if you don't have that azure function definitely you have to learn uh, go to my channel there is a many many things actually i just covered for azure function so i'm not going to details but yeah uh, it is simple just create a you know that azure service bus trigger and they asking to connection string right so here you will get that connection string so what you need to do now go to that local dot settings right and here simply i can create a connection string over here and here just paste that variable for example uh, my local emulator connection string right and what i need to do i have to pass that connection string so where i can get i already explained so go to there copy this guy and go to your here paste it over there then that's it and use this connection string in your azure service function right so go to this paste it over here and save it now whatever name you whatever you want to create a queue or you know topic or subscription you can just pass it over here so i just pass it over here as a my queue name right so let me show you what i mean so as of now see there is a no queue right so once i run this our once i run our application it is automatically will create you know it will con connect with our you know, service connection local emulator and it will create this service you know uh, what do you call this this queue will be created automatically uh, instead of create directly over here so that i was telling you okay let me run this and show you what does mean now see it is running there is no error and all right so once you're running if you go back to your uh, rabbit mq interface now see it is automatically create as a queue as well as their dead letter queue right the two queue they created right and see uh, as of now if you there is a no message received right so once i push the message so let me show you push one message over here so how we can push the message like see there's a inbuilt functionality over here so this is my first message by a rabbit mq right and push the message once you push the message you will receive that message over here as well so i'll show you here see the uh, uh, function is trigger and get the message and i'll show you that message text as well see this is that message right which i just pass so this is actually uh, the beauty if you want to learn something as your service bus so if if you think okay i need to take a subscription and all so don't worry about that you can create a local setup with using this docker container and rabbit mq and all and you can use and you can learn your things right and similar uh, for example as of now we have a one queue right if i want to uh, if I want to create more queue and subscription, how we can do that? That is again very simple. I'll show you. Uh, go back to our function. Where is our function? Yeah, this is my. Go back to your function. So this is my function, right? So in here, what I need to do? Simple. Just copy this guy, right?
just copy same things right and just modify little little bit right for example just i create another function right which is a done to and i pass is is here and see this is a subscription name i just pass it over here and change to uh that name connection string name to here and also change to here right now see i i just create two more uh queue along with this and a topic with the subscription so i can pass the subscription subscription and subscription too so once i stop and run it again so now it's running right and now see there's a three function actually we have just created and if you go back to your uh, rabbit mq see i just previously i created one now now we have created this topic along with the subscription two and subscription one right so whatever message you just pushed you will just receive over that message right so let me push that again another message and also this time i pass as a json for example name and this could be a value right and push this message and definitely you will get this message from your here right see the message you are just receiving over here this message right so like this way actually you can just create your local service bus emulator using the rabbit mq and docker container so that's all for this session have a nice day and don't forget to subscribe like and share